Kids Feet Kills. Hey guys, and welcome back to our channel. It's Epic Zara here, and I'm back with another video. What's good? What's poppin'? If you guys don't know who I am, my name is Zara. One half of this channel, Zara Nicola TV. Also known as Epic Zara on like every social media platform ever. So yeah, welcome you guys. If you're already subscribed, hey, welcome back. There's another video for you. So guys, today I just want to talk to you about being lazy and being natural hair and how you can grow your hair very long with little to no effort. So guys, these are actually the things that I employ on the regular because I'm a very lazy natural hair person, but I want to see my hair flourish. Let's get right into the video, but before we do, please don't forget to subscribe if you're not already subscribed. Give this video a big thumbs up, comment down below, and share this video with all of your friends. What's our theme for the comments today? I think you guys should let me know what tips you have if you're lazy and natural and you like to see your hair flourish. <laughs> Let's get right into the video. These are just a few tips. There is much more that one can do to maximize hair growth and length retention. But these are the ones I like to employ because I don't have time for all of that stress and struggle. Wear twists, twists, twist, twist, twist. Now that's not twist with added extensions. That's twist with just your natural hair. I love to wear twists, big twists preferably, because it keeps my hair nice and stretched. It deters single strand knots, AKA SSKs. It also just allows me to manipulate my hair very infrequently. The super low manipulation style, you can wear them as is, or you could pop a wig on over them, which is what I like to do. I like to wear crochet wigs over my twists, or frontals, or closure wigs. Really, you could do whatever you wanna do over top of your twists, as long as you're making sure they're nice and protected, they're nice and moisturized, and they just stay that way, you feel me? With the twist, I would actually recommend wearing crochet wigs over top of them if you get bored of the style. It's very easy, very stress-free, and it doesn't put as much tension on your edges and your scalp as a normal fitted wig probably would. My tip number two, oil rinse, oil wash. <laughs> Basically what I mean is, if you feel like your hair is getting dry and maybe you're wearing your protective twist or another like protective style or something, or just doing anything for that matter, you can wet your hair in the shower and then proceed to put oil in it. Now, what I like to do is I like to take my wild growth hair oil, which is my holy grail, which is included in my favorite product video, which I'm going to link right here. And I like to put it all over my hair after I've wet my hair and even a bit on my scalp and just massage it in, just distribute it throughout my hair. It keeps my hair super moisturized and allows my hair to stay fresh and hydrated till my next wash day. Another thing I like to do is if I'm just like rinsing my hair, I'll massage my scalp so that the oils from my scalp can be distributed down my hair shaft, pretty much like this. Of course, I do this while my hair is in twists. I don't like to do it while my hair is free because I want to keep my hair detangled and prevent SSKs. My tip number three, protective style. Now, there's a huge debate in the natural hair community about whether or not protective styling is worth it, but this works very well for me. If you protective style correctly, it will definitely help your hair to grow. Generally, if you don't manipulate your hair very much, it's easier for your hair to retain length, to flourish, to grow, you feel me? So basically, if you're doing a style like a twist out and you leave your hair like that for two weeks, maybe just re-moisturize, that's still low manipulation, which is why a lot of people may argue that protective styling is not really the business. But for me, I like to put my hands in my hair. I like to do stuff to my hair. I like to change it. So protective styling is extremely effective for me when it comes to retaining length. My favorite protective style is probably cornrows or the twists I mentioned previously. I don't really do single braids or single Senegalese twists anymore because my hair is at a length where it's not so protective for me. I can't effectively moisturize my ends. So cornrows work super fantastically well for me and twists, large twists with my natural hair work super fantastically well for me. My tip number four is 
Wear loose buns or other loose updos that are protecting your ends. This keeps your ends away from your garments, especially the cotton ones, because if your hair is rubbing against your clothing, it will likely snag, unless the clothing is silk or satin. And what does snagging do? Snagging promotes breakage. And ultimately, the key to growing long hair is retaining your length. Of course, you can maximize growth from your scalp, but ultimately, length retention is the key to growing long hair. Updos also deter over manipulation, which we already talked about, you guys. Don't keep your hands in your hair. It's not going to help your hair grow. While you're doing these carefree updos and buns, which I'm all about that high bun, I'm all about that low bun, make sure that you're using ouchless ponytail holders. What I mean by this is be sure that your ponytail holders don't have those little rings that will snag at your hair. I found these ponytail holders in Nigeria. They're really fantastic. They actually have like a little plastic bead around the part where the ponytail holder connects to itself. So it really can't snag your hair. I'm going to link the woman's store down below. The store is called Nija Naturals. Really super convenient. I found a lot of stuff on there. So yeah, you guys go check her out. That's where I get my ponytail holders here in Nigeria. My fifth lazy natural tip is to just ensure that your vitamin and nutrient intake is on fleekity fleek fleek. <laughs> like guys, seriously, you need to be sure that you're taking in plenty of greens, drinking plenty of water, and that's not necessarily very difficult. And I feel like it's not too difficult in this country. For me, I like to eat a lot of leafy green soups like afang, edikain kong, okra. Ooh, F-O Riro. Guys, look, I know I'm butchering these pronunciations, but just bear with me. Please, just bear with me. These are a few of my favorite vegetable soups to eat, and I feel like they really help not only my body stay healthy, but my hair as well. Another way to make sure that you're getting the right nutrients, another lazy natural tip if you just don't have time to be trying to eat extremely healthy all the time. Um, hair vitamin. The hair vitamins I've been taking for years are the main metabolism vitamin. I stopped taking them for like maybe a period of four to five months this past year, but I recently bought them. They are very beneficial for hair, skin, nails, and I love them. I feel like my body is at its peak when I incorporate those vitamins into my healthy lifestyle regimen. <laughs> My sixth lazy natural tip for growing out your hair super duper long is to just get yourself a massaging scalp brush, one of those ones that you're supposed to use to shampoo your hair, and use it to massage your scalp like every night or whenever you feel like it. <laughs> I really don't have time to be going like this. It's too much work for me. So I just got that and I just use it. I'll just stick it in one place in my head. Maybe I'll move it around a little bit like this and it works extremely well. I actually noticed that my scalp produces more sebum when I use it regularly, and I have a fairly dry scalp. So clearly, massaging my scalp makes my scalp produce the oil that it's supposed to produce. My seventh and final lazy natural tip for growing your hair long with the least amount of effort <laughs> is to just like take advantage of the steam in your hot shower by leaving your hair free every once in a while. I know a lot of people like to use a shower cap when they're washing their body, but as opposed to doing that, why not just allow the steam from the shower to penetrate your hair? Maybe do a nice little moisturizing treatment or put your favorite leave-in in your hair prior to getting in the shower, and then let the steam just work its miracle. It's not everyday steam treatment, sometimes bootleg steam treatment with the steam from your hot shower. That's just, I mean, that's just the way I like to do life, you guys. I don't like to stress myself out. But I like my hair to be healthy, you know. I want it to be long. I want it to flourish. Well, you guys, that's everything. Those are my seven tips for growing your hair long with the least amount of effort. Because, I mean, I'm, I don't have time for all of this struggle. I'm trying to get that long hair, but I'm not trying to work very, very hard. Of course, it's important to still employ certain good hair practices when trying to grow out your hair but these should definitely help you cut time out of your routine and also maximize your hair growth while doing so. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave your lazy natural tips down below. Tips on how to grow your hair long with the least amount of effort, leave them down below in the comments. Let me know what you guys do. I'm definitely going to be reading them and I'll employ the best ones. I'll definitely also shout you out if I've used your tip and I find it really successful. So guys, please, let's comment down below. Let me know what your tips are. ASAP Rocky. <laughs>
yeah, that's really just the end of the video. Please don't forget to subscribe. Be sure to share this video with your lazy natural friends who maybe need a little bit of a hair boost because we've all been there, I'm sure. And don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. Thank you guys so much for watching. You guys are the greatest. I'm excited to see you in the next video. Until next time, you guys stay beautiful, flourish, and all of that. And follow me on Twitter. I'm actually pretty active on Twitter, but I feel like you guys don't really know I have a Twitter. So follow me on Twitter. <laughs> Thanks so much, you guys. I'll talk to you in another video. Touch that, baby, me just wanna touch that. Ten time you read Now you they mash up the place, ah. Ten time you read If you are what see me, brain, ah. The only special one for me. Now you be the only one I see. Anywhere you go, I wanna be. Feel like my friends yeah. oh.